can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, a squared over a plus b plus b squared over b plus c plus c squared over c plus a equals square root of 2, then the goal is to evaluate this expression, b squared over a plus b plus c squared over b plus c plus a squared over c plus a. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution and the trick to answer this in 3, 2, 1. All right. So this looks scary, but this is very simple. So now, to answer this, let's get the equation a squared over a plus b plus b squared over b plus c plus c squared over c plus a equals square root of 2. Now what we're going to do, the trick here, is to add 0. So we will add 0 to the numerator, a squared, b squared, and c squared. But that 0 is in the form of negative b squared plus b squared. This is just 0. All right. Now, in b squared, we add negative c squared plus c squared. This is also 0. And on c squared, we add negative a squared and positive a squared. Now, from here, take note that we want b squared over a plus b, c squared over b plus c, and a squared over c plus a. Now, we will focus on this term because we will separate this to the original. So using the concept of similar fraction. So we have here b squared over a plus b. This is what we want to find. This is one of this term. And we will do the same thing to the rest. And now, we will call this expression as s. So this one, the second one, the second term, and the third term, this is just s. Now, what we're going to do is to focus on this result. And now, from here, we have here a squared minus b squared on the numerator, b squared minus c squared, and c squared minus a squared. And this is just the difference of two squared. So we can factor those out like this. Now, a plus b over a plus b, this is just 1. We know for sure. And we have here also b plus c and b plus c. This is also 1. So the remaining term is b minus c. And also c plus a and c plus a on the denominator is simply equal to 1. Now let's focus on this. And take note, when we add all of this term, we eliminate positive a and negative a because it's just 0. Negative b and positive b, this is just 0. And negative c and positive c, this is just 0. So this is just equivalent to just s equals square root of 2. And we know s is the expression that we want to evaluate. Therefore, given a squared over a plus b plus b squared over b plus c plus c squared over c plus a equals square root of 2, then the numerical value of b squared over a plus b plus c squared over b plus c plus a squared over c plus a is also square root of 2. And as always, we are done.